good morning to you and welcome to May Messy Church. It's good to be with you here and I hope you've had a really good week despite being on lockdown. Right, let's get off to a good start. We're going to have the story first, followed by prayer and a song. Then stay here on YouTube and we'll be putting up some crafts and activity as well as the quiz for you to do at your own leisure today. But we'll be back with fun at 4.30 on Facebook Live where we'll be giving the quiz answers and sharing some of the pictures that you have sent in from the day. So make sure to share your experiences with us and we'll be back with you later. Parable of the Good Samaritan by Jill Kemp God's law tells us to love your neighbour as yourself. A man asked Jesus, Who is my neighbour? Jesus told this story to show that people of any culture should be treated with kindness. A man was walking along the road from Jerusalem to the town of Jericho when some bad men ran off with his coat and left him lying on the side of the road, badly hurt. The hurt man lay in the hot sun. At last he saw someone coming past. It was a very holy man who loved to pray. Help me, please, cried the hurt man. But the very holy man took no notice. He walked on the other side of the road. He didn't stop to hurt, help the hurt man. He was too busy praying to God. A very clever teacher from his own time came past. He walked on the far side of the road and pretended not to see the hurt man. He did not stop to help him. A stranger from the country of Samaria came along the road with his little donkey. He saw the hurt man by the side of the road. The man from Samaria was very kind. I will help you, my friend, said the kind man from Samaria. He gave the man a drink of water and helped him. Then he put him on his donkey's back. He found a place for the man to stay and paid for everything he needed. Jesus wants us to help other people. That is called being a good Samaritan. Hey, did you see me? Did you see me? Yes, it was me, Don. Don Key. Helping the poor man. He was bleeding and bruised and left for dead by those thugs. My master though, he went over and helped the poor man. Yep, he went and bathed him in oil and looked after his wounds and took care of him and then he put him on my back. Oh, I was so scared of giving them a bumpy ride. I oh, walk very carefully, you know. Oh, yeah, you know, the roads are not that good out there. Oh, I didn't want to hurt the poor man. Anyway, we took him to the nearest inn, and then I just sat outside to keep watch for any bad men that might come along. And my owner, he went in and he took care of the hurt man. In the morning, my master gave more money to the innkeeper and told him to make sure he cared for the injured man, saying he'd give him more money when we were back that way. <sighs> but listen. There, listen, you, you, come closer. The most amazing thing about this story is was from Samaria. Hear that? Samaria. Yeah. And the injured man was a Jew. And guess what? 
people from Samaria and the Jewish people, they just don't get on at all, you know. But the people that should have helped this man, they just walked by. But my master, he didn't leave him lying there on the road. He went to help, even though it was someone he was supposed to not like. Oh dear, do you know what? We just saw someone in need and stopped to help him. Jesus said we should be like this. I know, I've got to love all the other donkeys. Grey, white, black, brown, pointy-eared, floppy-eared. In the same way, we should lo show love to others. We should show people that we care. Now, it's really hard in lockdown when you're shut in with people all the time and you just want to have a bit of a rough and tumble and an argument and things all get out of hand. But maybe today and the rest of our time in lockdown, we can show the people around us that we really, really care. Do you think you can do that? It is hard, I know, but Jesus wants us to show love to everybody. We're all neighbours, even our enemies. So, when you eventually go back to school, if you see someone you don't like being bullied, then you go up and help him. Stand up for him. Yeah, don't let him get hurt like this poor injured man. Be a good Samaritan. Over to you, Nikki and Matt.
We're going to do our prayer activity now. And the um, gentleman in the story asked Jesus, um, who is my neighbour? And we're going to pray for our neighbours, both near and far. So if you can stand and if you can look out your window, um, if you have a window in front of you, that'd be great. Um, let's just pray. Lord Jesus, we pray for those that are our closest neighbours, our friends and our families. We bring them before you now. We pray that you'll be with them. Just use this time to bring them before Jesus. Okay, we're going to now turn to our left. So you can either look to your left or turn to your left. We're going to pray for those people who live in our streets and in our villages and towns that we know. Lord Jesus, we just pray for those people who live next door, who are in our streets and in our towns. We just bring them before you now, Lord. Just use this time to pray for those people we know in our villages and towns. Now turn to the right. We're going to pray for people who um, are in our country, for our government and for our, the people in leadership. So they're our friends and, they, and they're our neighbours in a different way. Lord Jesus, we just pray for those people in government. We pray that you'll be with them, that you'll help them to be wise and to make good decisions. We pray for those people who care for us, who look after us, our nurses and doctors, and for the cleaners and all those in hospitals and in doctor's surgeries. We pray for those people in care homes and those people who look after them. We pray you will be with them. We pray for the um, shop workers and for all those people who go out to work daily just to enable us to live uh, our lives as we are now, Lord. We bring them before you. We pray you will bless them and keep them. Amen. We're now going to look down um, to, to pray for the world. So imagine yourself, you're in space and you can see the whole world. That's an amazing picture to see the whole world. Lord Jesus, we pray for our world at this time, Lord. We pray for those people who um, we know across the world that we, we love. We pray you'll be with them. We also pray for those people who are seeking to help others in different parts of the world. And we think of all the various charities that um, are bringing food and medical aid to those that are, are not able to access it themselves. We just pray for those um, people now. So just take time to pray for those organisations and people you know that live in other parts of the world. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 